Hey everyone, my name is Shai. Welcome and welcome back to my channel and this is part 5 of I Draw Your OCs. Um, I will be putting all of these videos up in a playlist if you haven't seen um, in the installments 1 through 4. So that will be up on my channel once this video comes out. And just a quick disclaimer before we get into the video. While this won't be the last installment I ever do of this series, I will be taking a short break from it to focus on other types of content. But I really appreciate you guys' support for this ongoing um, like mini-series, and I really appreciate all of your submissions, and getting to see all of your characters has really been a blast so far, so thanks so much for that, and okay. Again, thank you to everyone for your submissions, and with that said, let's get into the art for today. This first submission is from Mabel Mations, and this is her OC, Mabel. So, Mabel is short-tempered, feisty, discourteous to those who she doesn't like or her enemies and rivals. She's strong-willed, but actually kind of nice once you get to know her. She also has geokinesis and an enhanced sense of smell. And her weapon of choice are dual katanas. So, once I heard that, I knew I wanted to practice my prop design again. Uh, I don't get to draw different types of like handheld weapons very often, or weapons at all. Um, but I do really like martial art-esque um, weaponry, so I did want to try giving swords a go in this video, and I, I do quite like how those came out, so. Okay, so Mabel is the daughter of a clan who has been protecting a gem called the Liaster, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right, which can grant someone a singular great power for years. She lives in a pocket dimension called the Highlands, which is connected to Mobius and the In-Between, which is like a mass void. And the Liaster itself keeps the dimension from collapsing into the in-between. Sort of works like the Master Emerald on Angel Island, I suppose. So Mabel was trained harshly by her predecessor to be prepared for anything. Not to mention it was finally time to become the Guardian at her coronation. She was obligated to use the Liaster once to gain a special power and help protect the Highlands, which was Geokinesis. Eventually, Eggman found out about this gem and sought its power for himself. Sonic and friends visited the Highlands once they found out about Eggman's plan and attempted to get it first. Though stopped by Mabel. After a quick battle between Sonic and the others, the fight fueled by Mabel not trusting what Sonic claimed was true. Though Eggman eventually did come and stole the Liaster while they were fighting. Long story short, Mabel and Sonic got it back. Mabel leaves the pocket dimension more often to see her new friends and becomes an ally. So thank you again to Mabel Mations for your submission, and I hope you like how your OC came out. Alrighty, so the second submission comes from at Boy Charmy, and this is Sassy the Bunny. So much like her namesake, Sassy is very sassy. She can be a bit closed off, but once you gain her trust, she will love and protect you fiercely. She has very powerful kicks and can jump higher than most. She is also very skilled with a bow and almost never misses a mark. She also prides herself on her singing. So I, I'm just realizing now that I completely missed the chance to draw her with a bow and arrow. Uh, <laughs> I just, I really like the idea of giving characters designated weapons depending on their personality or their own unique skills. I think that's really cool. So uh, maybe next time. <laughs> so. Sassy is good friends with the Chaotix. She met Vector and Espio while they were investigating a nightclub where she worked as a singer. She willingly became informant for them to help the case along. So they found her at one of her singing gigs and then she gave them some info for a case. I like the fact that she's both a skilled archer and a singer. I think that's a really fun combo. I would never like think of putting those two together, but I, it, it works surprisingly well. I think that's really fun.
And with that said, here is Sassy the Bunny. Thank you so much, Boy Charmy, for your submission. And I hope you like how, how she came out. Alrighty, that is all the art and uh, discussion we have for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching to the end. Like I said, this won't be the last installment, but I do have other content planned in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, with that said, the submission form is still open down below if you want to submit your character for any future videos like this one. I will also have the playlist up where you can watch part 1 through 5 and see the gradual improvement because I, I really am more happy with like these last three installments than my first one and I feel like I've really gotten into the rhythm of like making these videos and, and the processes, processes <laughs> and everything so I'm really happy with how these last three have come out. I will have the entire playlist so you can see them all. And yeah, with that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!